Um, not really sure where to start with this. Let me let me, let me bring everybody else on board. Let me see. Yes, YouTube. Everybody else. Um. Is desensitize the word? Um, when I heard that PNB Rock got shot, I was in disbelief. But then I was like, "Ah, oh, he's gonna make it." You know, fortunately, we just talked about TJ making it, and I was really just thinking, "I'm like, oh man, he's gonna make it." Some very uh, gruesome videos that kind of like circulated on social media. And I and I ain't gonna lie, I watched them, and I still thought my nigga gonna be alright. He ended up passing. Very sad. Very tragic. Uncalled for. It's a lot of I want to talk about. So please, ahead of time, forgive me. Forgive me for my tone. Forgive me for my delivery. My mic isn't low. I'm just not shouting. I could turn it up, but I'm just not shouting. Yeah. Usually I'm shouting. That that's that's why y'all y'all are used to like whatever. Here's the thing, man. Damn, it seems even even lower, right? Yeah, I'm just this is just not the shouting thing. I could turn it up though. Hold on. All right, you sh you should be good. Um, I see today and I seen yesterday. There's a whole wave of people who cared about PNB Rock. It's a very tragic incident that happened, but I didn't sleep last night. I slept one hour, and. I almost missed my Spotify meeting, which was about two hours ago, because that's the only time I slept. Um, me and PNB weren't the best of friends, um, but we communicated a lot, especially during the last couple of months. PNB Rock has been independent. PNB Rock has overcame a lot of things in his life, and I talked to him. I talked to his manager. Everybody who's posting him up now. They were not listening and not responding to none of his messages when it came to trying to give him a verse. I sat there and listened to them tell me like, yo, you know, these niggas, they all fuck with him when he was hot. They wouldn't fuck with him now. Don't let this. I'm going to tell the real story. And I'm going to also get to because I seen social media trying to get at me and I'm like, y'all niggas is tweaking. And also, I don't know in what world y'all live in. I don't ask your permission. But we're going to get to that. PNB Rock, before an artist, before a public figure, he's a father. He's a father. He has a daughter. He's someone's son. He was someone's boyfriend. He was someone trying to build a future. These things all trump music. It's important that I point that out. Because everybody has think pieces these days. Everybody has, oh shit, well, if this didn't happen, everybody has all of this. But let me tell you, this is how life is played. If you know, I always say this about football. There's a lot of Monday morning quarterbacks. If you could play football, chess, 
Shit, even gambling, blackjack in reverse. If you knew the outcome before you had to make the decisions, everybody will win. But this is life. I'm saddened today for his family. I'm saddened today for his daughter. That is the first and utmost things that, that uh, weigh in on me when I think about PNB Rock. Not him as an artist. When I think about him as an artist, I think about the fake niggas who are now posting RIP PNB Rock. I think about that. I think about that. And I don't want to go down that road because it's very dangerous and torturous. And you become what I believe a lot of people become when they start mourning. When you start to mourn, you look for a scapegoat. The person who's responsible for his death is some lunatic with a gun. Let's not try to pawn it off to somebody else. Maybe was mistakes made? Was Should he not have been there? Of course. But there's no other reason why he's dead than the person who took his life. We have to keep the focus on why. So I know a lot of people want me to come on here and slam the girlfriend. Nah. Y'all want me to give a lecture? Yo, y'all are rappers. Y'all should have security. Should, but nah. For a lot of people, y people that's watching, y'all think being a celebrity or being a rapper is like you're a born again alien. I see everybody with think pieces. Yo, he should have checked in. But this is where you get to realize it's ridiculous. PNB Rock has been living in LA. Every time they talk about somebody who got killed in LA, with the exception of Pop Smoke. These niggas have been living in L.A. They're not from L.A. I'll give you an example. I've seen YB and Namir comment on this. He's not from L.A. He lives in L.A. He's been living there. A lot of rappers go there and live there. Lil TJ, who got shot, well, actually on the East Coast, but he got a residence in L.A. But they're all living in L.A. So this whole checking thing, it's not like you're checking, like, when I hear checking in, if all these people want to push that narrative, that's like if you're like, oh, this is a guest who's coming here for a weekend or coming here for some. These guys have been living there. I want to be very clear. I'm saddened for his family. I'm saddened for him. Um, for you to understand, I got to give you some context. In the last four or five months, PNB Rock has um, he's been independent. I'm trying to com maintain composure. The most pretentious motherfuckers was like, oh, Ak, you put up a, a, a clip. Oh, you're trying to benefit off of it. How disingenuous is that? Everybody who would be saying that never supported the nigga. PNB Rock was trying to schedule an interview with me for six months ago. PNB Rock had zero business being in New York. PNB Rock did not live in New York anymore. He did not even live in the Northeast Coast. He came out just to do an interview. He wanted to try to jumpstart what he had going on. And I talked to him and his manager. You know what they would all tell me? All these rap niggas switched up on him. All of them. They all switched up on him. They all wouldn't do things or give him 
whatever the case is, because they claimed he wasn't hot. Atlantic cut ties with him. So I want to give y'all a real insight into an artist who's now independent. Who me and him, whether it's me and him on a direct group chat or me, him and his manager, we're texting every day. You know these niggas switched up on this nigga when Ak is the person he's like, yo, yo, what's up with this? What you think about this? Yo, connect me with this. I had conversations with his manager multiple times. I'm like, yo, let me try to put you out with Spotify. I'm like, damn, like you like you guys been in the game. Like you guys don't know. Like, let me let me try to put you out with some people. This is not my job, but P and B is someone who I fucked with. Go back to everyday struggle. Go back to 2019. When it came to the end of the year, we were talking about best albums. I threw his name in the, in, in the mix. I said, this is one of my favorite artists. Everybody looked at me like I had 15 heads. I've supported him. He always realized it. 